Hi, Achim from Linux Space Explorers. As you can hear on my voice, um, I had a pretty bad cold and that's the reason I didn't post any videos in the last two weeks because I simply had no voice. But that's not the reason of the, today's topic. The topic today is dive accidents and why do they happen. The reason I'm coming up with this is that I was mailing back and forth with a couple of people from Patreon, followers on YouTube, uh, somebody on Facebook and I would actually base this discussion or the content of this video on a real life story which I modify a little bit simply because I want to protect the people that were actually involved in that accident a couple of years ago but nevertheless I don't want any relatives or uh, people that were connected to this to see this and hurt any feelings. So we have three people all um, in the mid 40s early 50s so considering age and diving a little bit in the riskier range already and um, they meet for a breakfast and uh, funny enough all of them have a beer then they go to the dive site and they do a dive and um, they're all equipped in wetsuits it's in February it's a bit of cold they all have wetsuits they all have a 10 liter tank each and um, so for those of you who are not familiar with the metric system, a 10 liter tank is a little bit smaller than an 80 cubic feet. 80 cubic feet is around 11.2 liters and, uh, and the 10 liter is yeah, a, bit, a bit smaller, that would be like 72, I, I don't know exactly. So um, explanation on the side, the 80 cubic feet describe the volume of expanded gas, so 80 cubic feet at 3000 psi, whilst in Europe it's the, the volume of water that you could fill in that tank. All right, so that 10 liter tank, a single regulator, and um, they did a dive with air to 50 plus meters. So the deepest one that was tracked on the computer, I think was 54 meters or something like that. Two of these gentlemen died, and the third one got a pretty bad DC hit. So after this, there was a newspaper article and uh, not for the first time when there was a dive accident there, the newspaper article basically stated that it's, uh, diving there should be forbidden because this dangerous dive site pulls people to depth and kills them. And it's not, uh, there's no other explanation how these well-trained, responsible family fathers and experienced divers could have died on this leisure dive. And when I read it, I exploded. So I wrote a really harsh letter to the editor of that uh, newspaper, which was obviously never published, um, so much for free press. And, um, but that publisher came back to me and actually gave me a call and was like, how I could dare to write something like this and this and that. So we had a pretty rough discussion, but in the end, he actually listened and um, I mean, didn't change anything on, on, on the subject, so there was no, no new content in this newspaper or whatever. But it brought my attention also a little bit on the general belief and the general opinion about diving as a sport and the risk involved. And based on that, because I, the story came up recently and then people started to discuss a little bit. And um, when you look at this dive um, accident as an example, and you think about what killed these people, well, I mean, in the end, they inhaled water and drowned. And, um, but the amount of nonsense that happened and that in the end led to that fatality, yeah, maybe one of those regulators had a free flow, yeah, maybe they ran out of gas, but that's not what killed them. It's not the, the regulator malfunction that actually killed the diver. So it was, as always, Overconfidence, lack of training, pure stupidity, and maybe team pressure. That's, in my opinion, the killers in diving. I mean, you can then extend that when you look at things like the, um, the, the, the basic um, rules for cave diving from Jack Axley. You have also this lack of light, continuous guide light, etc., etc., etc. But that's all. Um, based on what I just said. So when you look at these guys, 
No, they were not well trained because if they would have been well trained, they would have not done an air dive in freezing cold water to 50 meters with one regulator and a 10 liter tank. Overconfidence, yeah, same thing. If they wouldn't, I mean, how could they dare to think that this is a good idea? Yeah, maybe it worked a couple of times before, but it's it's like Russian roller with more than one bullet in the chamber, yeah? And then, obviously, there is maybe a certain type of group pressure. There would have be, would be another um, accident that I could uh, put up as an example, but uh, that was so unique that people would know what I'm talking about, so I don't want that. But group pressure, I think, especially in male groups, is a huge issue. So you have maybe this one guy that's like, oh, I think that's not a good idea, but instead of saying to the other two, like, hey, I think this is not a good idea and I'm afraid of doing that and I'm bailing out, um, he's like, ah, if they can do it, I can do it as well. Well, it's not a good reason to die. And it just drives me nuts if, if people then read in the newspaper and believe, especially if they're not that much into diving, that the lake or the dive site itself is dangerous. The dive site's water. It doesn't matter if it's cold, if it's warm, if it's salt, if it's fresh. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's water. The water doesn't kill you. Not at all. And also the depth doesn't kill you. It's just if you're at that depth with the wrong gear and the wrong gas and not the right training for it, yeah, then the water might kill you, but it's, it's just a very wrong way of thinking and a very wrong way of displaying our sport and the risks involved to the public if you say that dive site's dangerous and it kills people. There's a lake in the north of Germany called Hemor. It's a very similar thing. People frequently, when something happens there, it's always like, oh yeah, it's this dangerous dive site. It's nonsense. It's, nothing's dangerous there. It's stupid people that are not trained properly and have way bigger balls than brains um, doing stupid things and hurt themselves. And in the end, they hurt the sport and all of us. Sorry, had to blast this out. Um, I hope you guys have safe dives and uh, don't do any stupid things. If you have questions, comments, please put them in the comment section. If you like the content of this channel, please give us a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. If you're a subscriber, if you're not, please subscribe to the channel. Other than that, stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.